This video is about circle theorems. There are eight circle theorems we're going to go through in this video. When you start doing these questions, it helps if you either have got them written down or you've got a sheet with them all on. When you answer questions relating to circle theorems, you need to give reasons for your answers. So the text I've got with each one is the reason you give for the answer. So let's start with the first one. It says two tangents from the same point as are the same length. So what we mean by that, this is the point over here, and these two lines, they're the tangents. A tangent is a line that touches a circle, but doesn't go into it, so it just touches it at one point. So it touches here, and it touches here. So what we're saying is that this length between these two points is equal to this length between those two points. So two tangents from the same point are the same length. Okay, where a tangent meets the circle, where it meets the radius specifically, so the radius comes down from the circle, and then we've got the tangent here, what it makes is a 90 degree angle, it makes a right angle. So tangent meets a radius, or a tangent and a radius make a right angle. So where you've got a tangent and a radius, You've got a right angle. Angles in the same segment are equal. So two angles that are made from the same line, the same chord. So this point, same two points. So this angle up here and this angle up here. So they come from the same points. They come from the same chord. They come from the same segment. They're equal. So and any place where you do that, if you did it here or along to the side, it doesn't matter. They're all going to be the same angle. So angles in the same segment are equal. Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So a cyclic quadrilateral is just a four-sided shape in a circle. Cyclic, like circle, quadrilateral, four-sided shape. So a four-sided shape in a circle and the opposite angles. So this one and this one. So these two here add up to 180 degrees and these two here add up to 180 degrees. The angle in a semicircle is a right angle. So this is the diameter here, goes through the center. So any angle we make from there, so if it's up there or anywhere, it's going to make a right angle. So an angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Two radii, radii make an isosceles triangle. So if ever you've got a triangle and you've got two radius, two, two radii in it, it's going to be isosceles because the radius is the same length no matter where it is. The angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. So again, from the same points or the same segment or the same chord, we've got this angle here and this angle here. This one is double this one here. So the angle we make at the middle, the centre, that's the centre, is double the angle that it makes at the circumference. And again, it could be anywhere on the circumference and it'll still be double. And the alternate segment theorem, finally. So this is one where we have a triangle in a circle. And this angle here is equal to the opposite one, the alternate one. So it's equal to this angle here. And this one here is equal to this one here. Okay, that was a very, very quick run through of the circle theorems. So you've got to remember them. So it helps if you have them written down and you can look at these questions and see if you can work out the missing angles. So see if you can have a go at that now. Pause the video and I'll go through the answer in a second.
Okay, let's look at the first one. So we've got the kind of triangle in a circle one. It's the alternate segment theorem. So this 52 is equal to this x. So x equals 52 degrees. And you've always got to give your reasons. And it's because of the alternate, alternate segment theorem. Okay, and the second one, we've got two angles from the same segment. So x is 33 because angles in the same segment are equal. And the last one, we've got to work out two. So we start with x and x is that if you ignore the lines in the middle, we've got a cyclic quadrilateral and the opposite ones add up to 180 degrees. So x is 80 degrees, angles, opposite angles, I should say, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180. And we've got 80 here. And now we've got the angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. So y equals 160, so it's double 80. Angle at centre is twice angle at circumference. I can fit that in. Okay. And then you also get some kind of harder question so there's ones where you've got to do multiple stages to your working so you could try pause the video and give this one a go see if you can work out the missing angle okay so we have to start just by filling in what we know so here we've got a tangent and we've got well a diameter so a tangent and a radius meet at 90 degrees so that is a 90 degree angle so OBC is 90 degrees, um, tangent and radius, and radius make a right angle. Then we can find the missing angle in the triangle. So we've got 35 and 90, we need to make 180, so this needs to be 90, I need to go 50 to 85 and another 5. So OBC, no, BOC is 55 degrees, angles in the triangle, sum to 180. Now we've got angles in a straight line here. So AOD equals, so I've got 55. And then you add up to 180. So 20 to make it 75, 5 to make it 80, so 25, and another 100. So 125 degrees, angles in a straight line. Line sum to 180. And finally, we've got an isosceles triangle so we've got a radius here and a radius here so we need to do 125 we need 55 more to make 180 and we need to half it so OAD equals well, 55 over 2 or that's 27.5 degrees um, angles at the base of an isosceles Triangle R equal 